Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about a very basic and important topic of economics known as circular flow of income or circular flow of money. Let's take simplest of the examples. There is a household sector that includes you and me, the common people, the residents of a country and another sector called firm or the business sector. That includes all the factories, corporate offices, ports, go-downs, anything that transact a business. Now the business sector needs some basic requirements to run its business. These are called factor of production. Land means land and other infrastructures like building, road, etc. Here, Labor means manpower. Capital means money to buy machineries and start the business. And entrepreneurship means a business mind, a business structure. Now these factor of production are supplied by the people like me and you or as we call factor of production and in exchange firms pay money rent is paid for land wage is paid for labor interest is paid for capital and profit is paid for entrepreneurship or we can collectively call this factor of payment so household provides factor of production and in exchange the firms pay factor payment on the other hand the product that the firms produce are required by the household for living like food clothes furniture etc and to buy these products household pays money or what we call consumption expenditure this is the simplest form of economy as we call it two sector economy as there are only two sectors household sector and the business sector or firms and this way money or the income flows between these two sectors indefinitely now we assumed that whatever the household receives, it spends on its consumption. But in practical, household does not spend everything they earn. And there comes the bank or financial intermediary. Household sector saves some of the income and deposits it to the bank as savings. Bank uses this money and invests into the firms as investment. Now household too takes loan or borrowings from the bank and thus money flows in a little complex way. This is what we call a two-sector economy with bank or financial intermediary. Now let us explore a little deeper. In practice, there is always a government in an economy, which we ignored in the last two examples for simplification. Now the government collect tax from both household and firms. And in return, government sometimes provides subsidy or other benefits to the firms to help them in business. Similarly, government provides benefit transfer through different schemes to the household sector. Again, in order to function, the government needs products and services like office building, furniture, computers and a lot of other things. And these are provided by the firms. In return, government has to pay money, what we call government's consumption expenditure. On the other hand, to run the government, it needs manpower like clerk, police, bureaucrats and a lot of other services. And these are provided by the household. And in return, government pays salaries, wages and other type of payment what we call factor payment this example is called a three sector economy because there are three sectors household sector firms or business sector and the government sector assuming we understood everything so far let's complicate things a little more no economy is isolated from other economies in the world well let's not count north korea there comes the role of foreign sector means a different economy from somewhere around the world People move abroad and earn money and sends back home. So basically, household is exporting labor and in return receives money or what we call remittance. Similarly, business firms export products abroad and imports from abroad. And for that, there's a money transaction between the foreign sector and the farms. And this is an example of four sector economy as there are four sectors. So this was a circular flow of income or circular flow of money. I hope you understood. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next.